Now I've just finished opening the audio meter project and let me direct you to the location of the VI for the bar graph decoder that's based on a mathematical approach. We'll take a look at both the block diagram and the front panel at the same time. And as usual we begin with the 3-bit value from the FPGA input pins. I'm converting that into its 3-bit numerical interpretation. Do some mathematical operations and if you study the note there a little bit, maybe do some scratch work on a piece of paper, I think you'll realize that that algorithm works just fine. I then convert this back to an array, convert it to a cluster, and then that allows me to pull off the individual bits to be sent to the FPGA outputs. Alright, let's let's review some of the construction details here in just a bit more detail. The build array node can be resized as needed to expose the number of inputs that are required. Once we have an, a Boolean array, that can be converted to a numerical interpretation. I should also point out that you can have some control over the number of bits that are being generated. In this case, if we want to only generate 8 bits worth, we can do that. Again, we have these mathematical steps. You can find all of these nodes in the numeric palette. We then take our result, convert that back to the Boolean array data type. And that's located right here. For purposes of pulling off the individual bits, we need to convert it to a cluster data type. And from that cluster, we can then unbundle by name, as it's called and that's located right here. And initially that appears empty until you've connected it to a source of data. And you can then expose the number of elements that you might need.